Hi again, this is Jan with Aurora Beauty, and I had some exciting news to tell you. I had a social media marketer contact me and wanted to do a podcast on Aurora Beauty. So I was pretty excited, and they sent over the questions that they were going to ask on the podcast. And while I was reading through the questions and formulating my answers, I thought, you know, I should do a little video um, for all my customers, especially the newer ones that don't know anything about how Real Raw Beauty got started. So that was one of the questions from the podcast. But my answer to that question was that, you know, I have been interested in skincare seriously since I was about eight years old. I would take my allowance money and go buy anything that had to do with skincare. I would buy face masks, I would buy lip glosses, I, I had a drawer full of stuff. And then as I became a teenager and a young adult, I actually bought every imaginable over-the-counter skincare product and tried them out. And then when I actually got to where I was making money and I could buy more expensive products, I, I, I couldn't even tell you how many I've bought, how many I've ordered online, how many that I have been on a get a delivery every month. And when I, I guess, got into my 40s, I really changed my diet. Um, I went to a much cleaner diet. I went to juicing and um, that sort of thing. So that prompted me to be more interested in what I was putting on my skin as opposed to just buying the nudist thing that some celebrity had that was coming out on the market. So when I got very disappointed with most of the things that I purchased, I decided to just start investigating and reading about anything and everything that I could about what is actually really good for your skin. And I was extremely drawn to the, um, the oil cleansing method. And the more research that I did on it, I, you know, I found out that it dated back to Cleopatra, who was seriously the most beautiful woman in her day. And uh, that was her total skincare, was the oil cleansing method. So I spent about a year actually researching, and I've had this in my blood forever. I mean, I'm a yoga instructor. My background in the real world out there is accounting, but um, my passion and my love is for um, skincare and a healthy lifestyle. So I formulated what I thought was going to be an amazing face wash because I couldn't find one online that didn't have a chemical in it or didn't have a word that I couldn't pronounce in it. So I narrowed it down to seven and um, I formulated it, was so happy with it and um, started using it. And uh, then I gave it to one of my friends and um, then I gave it to my daughters. And the next thing I knew, people were commenting on their skin and wanted what they were using. And so I started just getting these emails out of the blue of people wanting to buy this product. And I, I didn't have a name for it. I didn't have bottles, I didn't have labels. I just made it for a few people. So I quickly, got some bottles, made some just, if you see them now, the funniest labels. And um, I mean, they were endearing for <laughs> that period of time, five years ago. But I didn't have a website. And the next thing I know, I'm getting checks in the mail from people. And um, they are wanting this face wash. That's all I had, one product, a face wash. So my friend, Nancy McKenna, um, her husband, loved the product but his skin is really fair and he wanted it without any of the uh, colors in it which the color in the face wash comes from the sea buckthorn berry so I created a moisturizer for him and then everybody wanted to start buying the moisturizer so that is really how real raw beauty began it was a passion for myself 
and the passion spilled over into other people. The product is a superior product because it works. It's the only um, skincare that I've put on my skin in five years and I will be turning 60 next birthday in January and uh, I believe in it my customers believe in it and I just wanted to share a little bit of how Real Raw Beauty got started and encourage you that if you have a passion for something and you love it you can by mistake or by or on purpose you can turn that into something that makes other people as happy as yourself so tune in next time. It was a great pleasure to talk to you all and uh, I'll see you soon.